introduction to this series on IBM Watson Analytics by Bhart to DW Consultants. In this series, we're going to focus on Watson Analytics tool and how you can use it for your analytics. Go to this link, Watson Analytics dot ibmcloud.com and register yourself it's a free edition register yourself and you can see this login screen once you are registered and your email address is verified <coughs> the watson analytics is a cloud-based service which allows you to question, ask questions on your data set. And then you can create data visualizations, do some predictive analysis, and also create dashboards. This is how it goes in Watson. First is you're going to refine your data set which is uploading your data and understanding what is the quality of your data so that IBM Analytics software can work on your data set. Next step is explore. You're going to explore your data set. You can do predictive analysis using this predict function and then Assemble your dashboard. You have one more option of social media in which you can create a theme and understand the, the media, social media elements like Twitter, forums, topics, comments, and understand the sentiments of your product if you want to sell your product or some social media trending topic. So we are going to see how it all works in, in this video series. So what is IBM Analytics? So to get started with Watson Analytics, Go to watsonanalytics.com and sign in using IBM user ID and password. IBM Watson Analytics supports Apple Safari, Google Chrome, IE and Firefox browsers. There are three different editions of Watson Analytics. Free edition, personal edition and professional edition. In the free edition, you can create your own ID as I have done. And in personal edition, you have to pay for your service. I think it's currently $30 per user. And you have professional edition, which you can have upgraded service. The difference is between these services is the type of data you can perform operation on. To give you an example, with the free edition version, you can only work on CSV and Microsoft Excel files. You cannot connect to a database or IBM Cognos report or anything else. While in personal edition, you can connect to CSV as well as Dropbox, you can access data from Twitter, but you cannot connect to the Cognos report data, but you can directly connect to the relational database. While in professional edition, you can do everything, plus you can connect to the IBM Cognos report data. So, this is how it goes. IBM Watson Analytics automates steps from the cloud for the following. Data preparation exploration, assembly, and predictive analysis.
So we are going to walk through how, what is the first step. As I discussed earlier, the first step is to refine your data set and you have to click on this refine data item, upload your data and prepare your data for analytics. Next is explore. Once the data is refined, then you can ask business questions in a natural language based way. I will show you a demonstration now. You can type in simple plain English and you can upload or create your analysis. Next is assemble. Once your analytics is done, you can assemble and create dashboard. You can share it. You can create stories also. You can have IBM Watson analytics to do a predict capability. It, it, create, it helps you to connect and correlate data within your organization, within your data set. And social media, as I mentioned earlier, you can create your social media theme, find out what's the sentiment of your product if you're selling a product or any other analysis on the forums or comments. So in this series, we're going to talk about each and every area in detail and show you how you can work with Cognos, sorry, not Cognos, but IBM Watson and Analytics. So coming back in here, the first step, as I mentioned, is upload your data. To do that, click on Add and you can you can upload or drag and drop your data set here and you can see that your sample sales data RTW consultancy sales data is getting uploaded transferring So once the data is uploaded, you can see the quality of data. You can further enhance the quality. We are going to discuss it in the next video. Let's do a quick explore on the data. I know we can refine it and do all other data refinement, but at this point in time, I just want you to do a quick demo on explore. When you click on explore, it says sales data. And I'm going to ask a question, how does sales amount compare to year? What's the trend? I search for it and click on your simple English question and you can see it creates your data visualization. Thank you for watching this first video. In the future videos to come, we are going to explore more and see how easily this Watson Analytics can analyze and do wonders for your data. Keep watching.